and say 20 dogs in the first couple minutes. It's going to be great. Here we go. And the Gurgitators are underway on Coney Island in front of Nathan's Famous, the original. And Joey focusing on his own game. What I saw early, though, was Kobayashi going after it. Is, is it Kurt Schilling-esque? Better than Kurt Schilling? Look at him go. Well, Chestnut jumps out with four, but right now, there he goes to six. Kobayashi comes in behind with five. It is so on right now. We just didn't know for about two weeks what was going to happen. Now, Chestnut really wants to get that 12, 13 dog minute. Do you see any indication that Kobayashi has any pain at all? I don't. Well, he's steel, this guy. Who knows? I mean, it's just smoke and mirrors at this point. We've we got to get these. It's a 12-minute contest, longest one out there. So he's got 10. 17 competitors, and we keep count of the dogs on our dog counter. You see Chestnut with 11, Kobayashi with 10. Kobayashi is bringing it right now. Joey Chestnut, though, not concerned. Very wise not to not to sleep on Kobayashi. Pat Bertoletti with nine. We're looking for a count somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 as we pass through the 10th minute. That'll tell us we're on record pace. Amazing. you got to wonder what's going through Joey's head. And there is Kobayashi. Is he struggling? His mouth is so full of hot dogs. There's chipmunking that's going on. It's, it's hard to say what's going on in there. Yeah, he's separating the dog from the bun. And uh, he's used a couple different styles. You see, Joey Chestnut just jamming it in as fast as he can. Now, Kobayashi switches over. No, nope, he's got the bun in one hand, dog in the other. Jimmy, what's going on down there? You know, just earlier this week, Kobayashi was reported saying he can only put two fingers in his mouth. That's the only distance he can open up his jaws, standing right behind him. It's easy to see. The acupuncture, whatever it is, has worked, guys. He is wide mouth right now, jaw to jaw, with Joey Chestnut early. But Kobayashi seems to be slowing down a bit as Chestnut passes through 21 as we get into about a little over nine and a half minutes. So Chestnut certainly is looking at that record pace. Well, it's a marathon, though. Don't count him out. Yet. I mean, he did look a little slow there in that uh, two shot, but Chestnut with 23. Bartoletti sitting just behind with 18 as Chestnut moves out with 25 and Kobayashi slows down. Look at Rich Lefevre. You know, look at Rich Lefevre right there in the center to the right of your screen. First onto the scene in 2001. Strangely, it's the same year that, according to Jim, came on the network television broadcast. According to Jim, just got picked up again. And Rich Lefevre stays relevant, too. He's unbelievable. He holds titles in watermelon. He's a spam eating champ of the world. The elder statesman, his wife, who used to compete, is here watching and cheering him on. I loved it when he came on the stage and pulled his shirt up to show that he was thin despite all the eating contests. This is the changing face of it. Most of the great competitors are thin, unlike this guy. Well, that's humble Bob shout right there. Humble Bob has whipped off the hat. Look at that. Pat Bertoletti with a mustache. Pat Philbin looks like he likes to pace himself, but he's not even going to break the top five right there, Pat Philbin. The great Kobayashi still very much in this. Amazing effort. Well, we pass through eight and a half minutes. Counting down 820. There's Crazy Legs Conti. It's Conti's fifth appearance at Nathan's, like Kenny Lofton or Sam Cassell. You think they're out of it, and they pop up again. He's got the staying power of Robert Ory, but not the rings, not the belts. I'm telling you, Chestnut is averaging five dogs ahead of Kobayashi as we move through competition here. Yeah, he's, he is setting a good pace. Now, Pat Bertoletti, look at that mustache of Pat Bertoletti's. It's like Magnum P.I. pre-puberty, I think. It's a little off-putting. But uh, he, he is in it. And, and it, will Bertoletti be able to eclipse Kobayashi? That would be something. He's never beaten Kobayashi. Kobayashi continues in the struggle. Now he's changed styles again. Well, Kobayashi has never lost on this stage. He doesn't want to lose today. I can't imagine the pain, but look at this man, the great American from San Jose, Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut always looks in such pain as he gets toward the end of this competition. There's the Black Widow, Sonia. Sonia Thomas. I don't know if she's on the top five. She may not sniff the top five today, the way the numbers have been going, the way these other guys, Bertoletti, Simpson, Janice, hanging tough. Well, so now 
with the competition underway. We're counting down for the seventh of the uh, 12 minutes. And Kobayashi has picked the pace up again, and he begins to close on Chestnut. Now only four dogs back. Yeah, now Kobayashi's getting into his rhythm. He does what he does. They call it clearing. He puts that food in his mouth, then clears it down. Puts the food in the mouth, then clears it down. Joey Chestnut typically just stuffs his mouth like, like Kobayashi was doing earlier, a process called chip monkey. A, a couple of people have said to me, it doesn't look like Kobayashi has any gag reflex. <laughs> he certainly has courage. I mean, this is a man that our, the major league eating doctor did say his wisdom tooth was taken out. I don't know if you've ever had your wisdom teeth removed, but I'll tell you, it's a pain like a Peyton Manning cell phone commercial. Well, Joey Chestnut just passed through 42. What's the story there, Jimmy? We're well, talking to Joey Chestnut before the competition, Paul. He said that during the eating competition, he does a lot of moving back and forth, almost shaking. He calls it the chestnut shake. The reason why, he's constantly working those upper ab muscles and stomach muscles, forcing the food to go down. He said normal eating, the food settles in the upper stomach. By moving those ab muscles and working those stomach muscles, he's forcing the food down, creating more room. The American Joni, Joey Chestnut is still out in front, now 43, but Kobayashi is closing in. The crowd reacting constantly to every one of Kobayashi's moves. He's looking strong. He obviously didn't come in here to phone it in. He's here for the competition. Now he closes to within two dogs. Five minutes, 40 seconds remain. Chestnut with a two hot dog lead. If he can hang on, you Google hero tomorrow, American hero, you're going to get Abe Lincoln, possibly uh, Neil Armstrong, Taylor Hicks, and then this man, of course, Joey Chestnut. But can he hang on with Kobayashi right on his heels? And look, look at the separation, too, just how far superior they are to the rest of the field. A good ten dogs ahead of the rest of the field. You are going to see a new record here today, Paul, I think. We had 53 and three quarters last year. That's a Nathan's record. But we have five minutes to go. And Joy Chestnut, 59 and a half is the world's record. Should take a moment to recognize the Bunnets this year. They're there with the cards, keeping everybody focused on the center stage. Joey Chestnut now doing a little bit of it. Now he does, he presses his stomach with his rib cage and with his hands. It's like, I call it like the beanie baby. Like my kid grabs a beanie baby for a hacky sack and just kind of plays with it. He is able to do that because he's got so much food in his stomach. The interval remains two dogs between Chestnut and Kobayashi. They begin to slow. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go. For Kobayashi to come out here and eat like this is a singular instance of valor. It is nothing short of amazing. We didn't anticipate it. There's 50. Chestnut goes through 50. We're closing right now on the Nathan's record of 53 and three quarters. Well, Kurt Schilling be damned. Kobayashi is bringing it. He's just two hot dogs behind Chestnut right now. We have nearly four minutes remaining in this competition. The table enders now not even in focus because the entire world, the entire free world, is focused on these two men. There he is, Pat Bertoletti with 39. Still has three minutes to go. Bertoletti, as I said, is dedicating this contest to Nicky Hilton because he told me he feels as though Nicky lives in the shadow of Paris, and he indeed lives in the shadow of Joey. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be able to get Paris Hilton into this show. How can you not? Know? <laughs> Chestnut 53, Kobayashi now goes to 52. Kobayashi just slowly closing in on Chestnut. Okay, so we are nearing the three-minute mark. Joey, just a dog above, and Kobayashi now bringing it in the final quarter. And there we go. Chestnut has a new record for Nathan's. He broke the old one set by Kobayashi, 53 and three quarters, as he goes through 54. Since 1916, a hot dog contest has occurred on this corner. Never before has this crowd or any crowd seen 54 dogs eaten, and that happened. In just nine over minutes. the 92 competitions, the first contest, the record was 13. Look at what they're doing now. Chesta is still out in front. They're two and a half minutes to go. Kobayashi pulls even with Chesta. It is unbelievable. Absolute dogfight. Cheek to jowl. Look at the jowl movement on Joey Chestnut. That's a jowl movement, not just similar to what you see from Cookie Jarvis back in the day. Only about twice as many hot dogs that Cookie could eat and all the greats like Badlands back in the day. Dieter X still bringing it with that face paint. What a valiant effort. Kobayashi.
Ritchie is giving it here. He's still behind, but just by a fraction of a dog. Unbelievable. Will Chestnut go home the victor? This crowd will erupt if the mustard yellow belt gets risen above his head. Just under two minutes to go, and we send you down to Jimmy in the spray zone. Hey, Paul, Joey Chestnut knows exactly where Kobayashi is as he's eating those hot dogs. He has one eye on Kobayashi's count. Kobayashi focused on his interpreter, depending on him to tell him where Joey Chestnut is. It's a cheek-to-cheek, jaw-to-jaw finish, guys. Less than half a dog difference between Chestnut and Kobayashi now. Well, it will. It may go down to the judges if it stays this tight. Now, we have the best judges from Major League Eating. In fact, every eater has two counters to keep an eye on these totals. There's that much at stake. High sketchup is here. Nathan's famous sponsoring this for the 92nd year. $20,000 on the line and worldwide celebrity acclaim. Just one minute, 16 seconds away. Well, Chestnut's remaining about three quarters of a dog ahead as we move toward the last minute of competition. Twelve minutes. They're approaching the record now. Is Chestnut going to break the world record as Kobayashi goes in front? Here comes Chestnut. Joey, Chestnut closes on him. Joey has broken his own record, and, and Kobayashi's right there with him. We never would have expected this. This is going to be a 61. close call. Chestnut comes back into the lead. Kobayashi falls to second. They're both now well oh, over the Kobayashi record. Kobayashi pausing now. Kobayashi pausing now. 39 seconds remain. This would be the greatest moment in the history of American sports if Chestnut can bring the belt home to Coney Island. It's been gone for nine years. Chestnut scores up to 62. Kobayashi at 61. 20 seconds to go. Oh, come on, Joey, now. The fans want you. Kobayashi brought it today. Unbelievable valor from this man. And now here is the countdown to the championship. It's neck and neck. DQ. That's a Kobayashi reversal within the framework of the competition. I'm afraid the judges are going to call that. That is up to the judges. We have two judges, and that call is the spray zone. Unbelievable valor from that man right there, Joey Chestnut. He may indeed have changed the course of this nation, righted the course of our nation. Chestnut is a true American hero. Well, on this Independence Day, we're actually not far from where George Washington began to fight the British, went across the river and into Manhattan, and then they chased him down to Philadelphia. But now, I don't know what the call is. What's in your mouth at the end of the competition does count. However, the reversal. There may indeed have been a reversal. It's the judge's decision. But it looks like, according to the judges, you're listening. We're going to go and take a look at the end of competition here. And, oh, boy, and I think here it comes. It was, inc- oh, that's off-putting. And i got to say, that's going to cost him right there. If they don't full-on DQ him, they're going to deduct for those hot dogs. So what will the final decision be? The judges are looking at the tape. They've asked for it yet again. Is Kobayashi finally defeated? Is Joey Chestnut the winner and the belt back in America?